hi everybody how are you all doing welcome back to my channel this is boss kitchen and inspiration so today guys hey i'm just here to do a different video it has nothing to do with cooking but it can be an inspiration because this is boss kitchen and inspiration so guys yani yesterday i don't know you know the way you scroll through your youtube and the video just popped up you know it was a loyalty test gone wrong <laughs> and i was like you know you know initially when this loyalty test video started uh becoming popular you know out of curiosity you go watch and you just want to know like what happens so in the midst of watching like one of the videos uh Anyway, let me just begin off by saying, you know, some, someone would be asking now what's a loyalty test. <laughs> yeah, so it's a popular um, trend or kind of videos that are here in Kenya. So what happens is that uh, the YouTubers normally, you know, go and meet random couples. If they see two people working together, they'll go stop them and tell them and ask them whether they are comfortable being sanitized. <laughs> I came to realize that <laughs> there's a lot of sanitization going on, you know, between couples. It could be people who are in a relationship or people who are married. Yeah, so they'll seek for the approval and if they agree, then they go ahead, check their phones. Yeah, so they read through the phones and, you know, just try to find out if they're loyal to each other. So that's why it's called the loyal loyalty test because they want to know if you're loyal to your partner. Yeah, so the video that popped up, you know, out of curiosity, I opened and I was like, I, okay, let me just watch this video. So this video was of a lady, you know, who is married. And, you know, she was, she, she had just gone to, with the husband to look for land, you know. And then, you know, as they're going home, they're just strolling and they meet this uh, person who is carrying out a loyalty test. So the person stops them and is like, are you two married? And they're like, yeah, we are married. So it's like, I normally carry out loyalty tests and I will want to like, you know, you to give me your phones. I hope you're comfortable doing that just to ascertain that the two of you are loyal to each other. So the guy or the husband was like, ah, you know me, I really, you know, trust my wife. And even we got married last year. And I'm sure you'll not get anything fishy or funny. Even, you'll even be bored <laughs> when you look through her phone. And uh, so he asked the lady if she was comfortable. And she was like, yeah, it's okay. You can read through my phone. And the guy was like, oh, so it's, I'm okay with it. Yeah, so the guy was like, you know, let me start with the guy's phone. So he took the phone and uh, he started scrolling. You know, he'll go to the call logs. And just to look at who has been calling you then he'll go to the messages to see who has been texting they didn't find anything juicy there was no tea then he went to whatsapp he started looking through the messages and he didn't find anything interesting so it was like ah for you i'm just giving you a clean <laughs> slate yani you are clean so your wife doesn't have to worry so he was like now for the wife can i have your phone and she confidently, confidently said, yeah, you, could, you can have my phone. So she gave the phone. And that one was like, ah, you'll not find anything, you know. Even she knows my password. And, you know, we don't hide anything from each other. So the guy was like, okay, it's okay. But let's just go through the messages. So he opened the phone and uh, he went through the logs. There was nothing like juicy or naughty there. And it was like... He went through the messages, the SMSs, uh, there was nothing. He went through the WhatsApp. He could not find anything. But you know these people, <laughs> there's a way that they normally do uh, their loyalty test. So he said, ah, let me try to do, to put a keyword, uh, the word love, just to see what will come up. So he searched and uh, a message popped up from the archive messages. I can me, I've been using WhatsApp for years and I don't even know how to archive my messages. <laughs> so this lady apparently has been, you know, communicating with other people and, uh, you know, she has been archiving, putting the messages in archive, in other words. Yeah, so that 
anybody who comes to the phone will not see that message that has been archived. Yeah, so it's a message that probably the husband has never seen because this message has been archived. Yeah, so the Nini, uh, the Kagai started reading the message and was like, you know, this number plus four, six, seven, who is this that you've been communicating with for, you know, a long time? And the lady was like, ah, that's not me, you know. I gave somebody my phone to use, so it, it's not me. Ah, so he was like, okay, okay. So let's just read the messages. So he starts reading, and uh, it's like the lady is telling the person who is uh, abroad, apparently the plus four, six, seven is from Spain. So it's like they're chatting and they're saying like, you know, I'm an orphan. So the lady is telling the probably the mzungu that she's an orphan and in fact even the man that i'm living with that is the husband now you know he's my brother and then the 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 kagai the muzungu is asking her i normally see you with a ring huh are you married then she's like no you know that's just for beauty <laughs> you know the husband nearly collapsed <laughs> when he was hearing those things he was like what huh you know, they could not believe it. And even the, the guy was sanitizing them. The one who was going through the messages was like, hmm? you know, because the husband to this lady had, you know, no reason to doubt the wife. So he was like, I, how is this? So he kept on reading some messages. I can't even repeat them here. Uh, uh, uh. So meaning that she has even been intimate with Daki Muzungu and you know, she's married. So the husband was really in shock, like, what is all this? First of all, you have even denied your parents. Yani, that's where you are. Like, as I'm talking to you, you are an orphan. Eh? And get your parents at home. You know, and me, I'm your brother. <laughs> I'm your elder brother. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could not take it. So he decided to leave, you know. And the girl was really, you know, like pleading, please don't leave me here. It's at night. Where will I go? He was like, that's none of my business. So the next thing that happened is that, you know, the guy who was doing the video, <laughs> it forced him now to get accommodation for that lady because the husband was like, uh-uh, you're not coming to my house now. Uh-uh, I cannot even stand seeing you. So, uh... The next day, the person went and did a follow-up video. You know, that's when I started believing that, you know, these loyalty tests, some of them are true. You know, in my mind, I used to think they acted, you know, just for views and all that. Hey, but this one, uh, this one was what acted. It was real, like real, real. Because nowadays, you can see, like, they do the follow-ups. So it makes it very real. So he met the, with the husband and was like, I mean, how did you people meet? How long have you known each other? And the man was like, we've been together like for six good years. And this lady, I'm the one who gave her that job that she's currently working in. Because I could not stand that just staying at home. I decided, uh, let me just connect her and uh, so that she can get a job. Yeah, so she got a job. And apparently where, so that was the side of the story of the husband. And was saying like, um, you know, they've been together for six years, but last year in 2020, they decided to do a white wedding. Why not make it official? I mean, if you love it, you better put a, a, a ring on it. <laughs> yeah, so he went paid dowry. They got married officially. And yeah, so there they were. But uh, it's like the lady was not interested in having children. And that time he could not understand why. So the guy also decided now to follow up with the lady, just to know her side of the story. So the lady was like, you know, when I got a job, I got hooked up to some ladies in the office. You know, the way you can have colleagues and, you know, and they're married also, like she was married, but they had wazungus who they were doing their own their own things, you know, with wazungus. But the agreement was like, I'm going to introduce it to these wazungus, and you know, you better keep it a secret. Ah, okay, Patkana, if you're caught, ah, don't even mention me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so that was the agreement. 
So the lady was introduced to this Wazungus who apparently used to come to Kenya. So when the Wazungus come to Kenya, um, they'll meet up, you know, and because the colleague was so close with her, uh, whenever she went out even on a date with this Wazungus, the husband will be informed that she's with my friend, you know, with, let's call her Betty. Yeah, so the husband will not have any reason, I mean, to, you know, to doubt. I mean, if I say I'm going out with my colleague and you know her, so why should it be a problem? Yeah, so that's how they used to, you know, meet these Wazungus. So she was being asked, like, I mean, why were you doing this? Because even the messages that were being read, apparently she was saying, like, I've gotten my passport, you know, um, just waiting for you to come so then we uh, can go i mean i can meet you up in that country so that we can live together so the guy was like why are you doing all this you don't love your husband so she's like i'm really remorseful for what i'm doing and let me just say like it's money that drove me even to look for those wazungus <laughs> so the man was like uh -uh. so you want to you know to disappoint your husband because you're looking for money so tell me any other thing that you want me to know so she was like you know the mzungu one center one million guys one million <laughs> so he sent the one million and remember she's saying like they met the mzungu this year 2021 in january so he sent the one million and also topped it up um in february with half a million so that's 1.5 so she decided to use that money to buy a car so of course you know with the husband at home he'll be like how did you buy a car and so she lied and told him uh, i took a loan in the bank and that's how i managed to buy this car i mean why would the husband question yeah so she bought the car so the interviewer is asking her this one's all okay now that you all this has come out so what are you going to do and in fact he was telling the lady like your mom has been calling me and she's complaining that you're not picking up her calls so she's saying like hey, okay, i'm so remorseful i'm really embarrassed because my dad is an elder in the church we did the white wedding and you know me having said that i'm an orphan it's a real embarrassment to the family i don't even know how to talk to my mom so the guy, the interviewer was like, let me just call your mom because now she's been calling me. At least let her know. I want to let her know that I've met you and I want you to talk to her. So he requested her to make a call and, you know, do a, uh, what, what do you call it? <laughs> or loudspeaker, yeah. So she called the mom and uh, the mom picked up and uh, she was really... She was really disappointed. And she was just like, my daughter, I can't believe this. I mean, what are you doing? You know, as you're very respectable people in the church, your dad is an elder. I don't even know why you want to kill us before a time. Like, why are you saying you're, you're an orphan? And why all that? Why all this? You know, she was kept on, you know, complaining, complaining. The, she was not giving the daughter time even to talk. So she decided to uh, disconnect. And you know me, I kept on wondering, hey, really, these things happen, you know, these things happen, I'm telling you, what? So I was just feeling for the husband, you know, now he was just like, I don't even know what to do next, like, what do I do? Because I've really trusted this lady, I've done everything for her, and this is what she can do for me. Yeah, so guys, I don't know, hey, so after watching that, another one popped up. It was about uh, also a couple who were leaving. I mean, they were going home. It was at night. And then this guy stops them again. And he was like, even I do a loyalty test. I want to carry out a loyalty test um, between you two if you allow me to. So the guy was like, ah, why fanya? <laughs> me, I know this lady like, ah, I put a kitutapata. There's nothing you'll find in that phone. Ah, who you? Even she knows my pin. My M-Pesa pin number, she knows my, you know, my phone pin. So what, what am I hiding? So the lady was like, also like, ah, ebu fanya raka si tuende, you know. So the guy was like, okay, sawa, so let me do it. So which one do I start with? 
So he started with the guy's phone. So he went through, the, as we showed, the call logs, nothing. SMSs, nothing. He went to WhatsApp, checked. Ah, there was nothing juicy. Because <laughs> he was looking for tea. You know these guys look for tea. So he could not find anything. Then he went now to the lady's phone. And, uh, you know, he just read through the messages. He went through the blocked numbers. You know, the way you have the blocked numbers and the, you know he was just like who are these people who are blocked can i read their messages and they found like that those people in in come committee <laughs> the people who normally send you at your host g at your mom send me money i'm stuck in school you know and you're wondering which kid and me my child is at home so those con men it was like ah those are kind of con men from committee so there's nothing so he decided to use that keyword again the love so apparently the message popped up from the archives I, hey then i was like okay now these people like archiving you know the archive they put their messages on the archives so the message that popped up he was like what can i read this so the husband was like ah you read araka raka because i think the house help was calling to tell them that their child in the house was crying so they need to leave so it's been told every so many message araka like read that message quickly so what happened is that he read the message so when he was reading hey the husband was like apana ebu 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 <laughs> you know became interested I, the message was saying like at the, like i will block you this time i'm blocking you like kabisa kabisa like i'm blocking you permanently so the husband was interested to know now who is this so the lady is like, no, trying to snatch the phone. Like, I don't want you guys to read this message. But the guy was like, Apana, our agreement was like, we are going to read both messages. I mean, what are you hiding? So the husband was like, Ebu <laughs> So when he read it, he was saying like, even the child that you have, you know, uh, the truth would be known in the near future. Mm -hmm. They will know that that is not your husband's child, something like that. And I will always love you. Yeah. So the, the the husband was shocked, huh? What is this? Hmm? She was asking her, like, eh? in Mambogani, like, what is this? So she was like, Apana, you know, why do you want to leave to believe this stranger who is reading a message and you don't want to believe me? So the husband was like, No, what do you mean? Like, you have to explain, like, who is this person? You want to tell me the daughter that I have brought up, taken an insurance for that child. That I'm doing all these duties and the child is not legally mine. Like, that is not my child. I'm raising up somebody else's child. <laughs> so he got mad and was like, ah, even don't touch me. I don't even want to see you. Like, you're not, I'm going to the house and I don't want to see you. So the lady is trying to pull him. It's like, don't touch me. The next time you touch me, I'm going to, you know, do something crazy. So I was like, hey. So guys, you know, the reason why I'm just doing this video is like, you know, the more you watch this loyalty test, you wonder what has become of human beings, you know? Why is it that there's so much cheating uh, in relationships and in marriages? What is happening? Is it because of the social media or the digital that people nowadays, you know, are able to, you know, communicate with people even who are in, in a broad, like that case of that lady with the wazungus? What is it? So we live in a society that is a bit rotten. But as a Christian, I still up, uphold, uphold yeah, the, uh, what God says in the Bible. Because that's what we use. Yeah, so my inspiration for today and uh, just an encouragement is to tell people to be faithful to their spouses or their boyfriends. I mean, if you are in a relationship that is not working, why cheat on somebody? You better just be true to the person and just tell them, you know, me, I'm not feeling you. And, you know, you end the relationship. Other than making the other person believe that you are there 100% and yet you know that you have somebody on the side. You know? And if you're married, what does the Bible say? The Bible says that we should be faithful. You know, God hates divorce although that is another topic for another day but god also says in his word that he doesn't encourage people to have adultery 
adultery is when you have a relationship outside your marriage union yeah so yeah so whenever i watch those things i'm just like oh my god just have mercy upon families you know we just need to pray for families yeah if you're a christian remember to pray for families so that people can be faithful to each other so that uh there'll be no issues of committing adultery and people if they're in relationships they'll learn to be faithful as well yeah so if you've never watched those loyalty tests <laughs> you better just watch them i mean they're very dramatic they're very very dramatic so today's inspiration that i'm just giving out there be faithful hmm? be faithful oh <laughs> if you're married be faithful hmm? don't look the left or to the right or in front or behind thinking the other person is better mm -mm. be faithful to your spouse if you're in a relationship uh -uh. be faithful mm -hmm. that is my message for today yeah so i believe that you have been encouraged yeah so be faithful remember to like this video share it and you can look for those uh videos out there and just watch them for yourselves yeah so if you've not subscribed please remember to press on that subscribe button click on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload a new video yeah so leave a comment below let me know your thoughts about this loyalty test do you believe them are they real yeah so let me know so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one god bless you